I'm Dr. Ramia Latano, Associate Professor and also the Director of the Pulmonary and Critical Care Fellowship at Cooper Medical School of Rowan University. I'm proud to say I have held this position for the last 15 years. Our program is an ACGME accredited three-year combined pulmonary and critical care medicine fellowship program. We are accredited for a total of six trainees, two per year for three years. The main clinical campus is at Cooper University Hospital. We are part of the MD Anderson uh, Cancer Network based out of Houston, Texas. We have two interventional pulmonologists as faculty. Over the years, our procedural service have grown in the area of advanced bronchoscopic procedures, giving our trainees the unique opportunity to spend five or more months in bronchoscopy and advanced pulmonary procedural service. Allowing trainees in procedures such as therapeutic and diagnostic bronchoscopy, endobronchial ultrasound, with transbronchial needle aspiration, navigational bronchoscopy, cryobiopsy, transbronchial biopsies. Our fellows gain extensive experience in the management of pleural diseases, including thoracic ultrasound, chest tubes, tunnel pleurex catheters. Pulmonary fellows have the opportunity to participate in more advanced procedures with our two interventional pulmonologists, including pleuroscopy, endobronchial valves, bronchoscopic lung volume reduction. Fellows rotate through subspecialty clinics in lung cancer, interstitial lung disease, and pulmonary hypertension. Our trainees learn to perform and interpret pulmonary physiologic testing, including cardiopulmonary exercise testing and pulmonary function testing. Our fellows get outstanding exposure to lung transplant at the Hospital of the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. The fellows have the opportunity to train in critical care medicine with world-class multidisciplinary physicians as teachers with whom you will interact and provide mentorship during your educational experience. We not only have pulmonary and critical care physicians as faculty. We have critical care faculty members with subspecialty training in infectious disease, nephrology, anesthesia, and emergency medicine. I'm proud to be part of this faculty. Uh, we are an ECMO center. Our fellows have the opportunity to manage cardiothoracic surgical patients, neurosurgery, and vascular surgery patients. We are a world-class, we have a world-class simulation center where trainees go through our curriculum in bronchoscopy and mechanical ventilation. In addition, simulation in ECMO. We are an academically challenging program that has a very heavy clinical focus. We are looking for a highly competitive candidates with a strong work ethic passion for teaching, and would embrace diversity of our medical center and the population we serve. We have a very close relationship with the medical school and a unique opportunity for our trainees as teachers, uh, having the potential uh, to have an academic appointment at the school. Our fellows been, have been honored um, for teaching by the medical students with the Golden Apple Award. Those who take the opportunity to apply for an academic appointment will have the unique advantage of applying for employment at an academic institution or subspecialty training. Our fellows are the heart of our division. We have an amazing group of men and women physicians. They are dedicated to our patients, our program, the institution, and most importantly, to the one another, including the 10 critical care fellows. Our fellows have the unique ability to be certified in advanced bronchoscopic and pleural procedures that no other program can offer. We will be, you will be both well prepared for both pulmonary and critical care board examinations. In addition to our fellows have the opportunity to be both certified in echocardiography. We have had a 100% board, board pass rate uh, in both pulmonary and critical care for more than 10 years. We have had a 100% board pass rate in echocardiography since its inception. Our fellows who want to train in subspecialties such as pulmonary hypertension, sleep medicine, interventional pulmonary have been accepted to the first choice of the program at an 100% match rate after training at Cooper University Hospital. Our trainees have been recruited to top choice to their top job choices directly out of fellowship. Approximately 50% of our graduates choose academic practice and about 50% choose private practice. Whatever you choose, you will be well trained to be the best pulmonologist and intensivist you will, can be. 
These are stressful times to be a physician. We have all made sacrifices and adjustments to our inpatient and outpatient practices. I'm proud to say that our administrators have provided a safe environment for patient care and for education. I look forward to interviewing you and providing you more in-depth information about the unique training program we offer here at Cooper University Hospital. Please feel free to reach out to me with any questions you may have about the program. Thank you.